YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Stealthy Snorlax. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick little stream highlight. You can say we're doing art streams on Twitch. I'll be doing art streams on YouTube, so be on the lookout for that. I'll be live streaming on YouTube uh, from time to time. I think I'm gonna try out the new feature. Well, this feature has been given, right? It's it's a feature that's been in YouTube for a while to do live streaming. Uh, however, I've always live streamed on Twitch, either my gameplay or my artwork. So if you ever want to come by and say hi, man, you're more than welcome to. The link is in my description. You, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash stealthy snorlax. If not, hit that notification bell when I will go live on my channel here because I feel like I am going to start live streaming on YouTube. I enjoy doing these type of art videos. I've always saw people doing art videos for like the longest time and I always wanted to get into it, but I just never did it. So I've been doing art ever since I was a child. I was fascinated by doing art. I started off with graffiti and then I worked with anime and then I did it professionally as a graphic designer. Now I'm doing illustrations, so this is my little rendition of Grogu in Chris Sanders' style. So it's not too bad, it's actually pretty fun and enjoyable. I hear I'm doing my line weight a little too small, I think I should have done it a little thicker. But overall I feel that this piece came out really good and I enjoyed it and you know I'm grateful for the ones who came into the live stream and saw me doing this live. Thank you guys so much for the support and I am just grateful for it. There's no words to describe how grateful I am for you guys. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, thank you for being a supporter and guys if you need a free emote or a design don't hesitate to ask me i am willing to help you guys out with your emotes your designs uh, i'm a graphic designer for about seven years now i've been doing it freelance and professionally as well uh, i work with photoshop but that's mainly the the one that i use but sometimes i mess with sketchbook pro sketchbook pro is free right now so if you guys want to get into some drawing software i totally recommend downloading sketchbook pro it's it was paid to uh paid to use a few years back i remember it being paid uh and then when i had my note 3 oh gosh that's such a long time ago i had a note 3 with a little pen tablet and i would mess with the sketchbook app that it came built in so i i had my fair share of work with digital art uh now i'm doing live streams of my art so i enjoy this this is very therapeutic for me and a lot of you guys know that you know my mom passed away on september 9th so you know being distracted and drawing is is very helpful for me it's very therapeutic like i said and i've always enjoyed art for that reason um this style of art is by the creator of Lilo and Stitch, Chris Sanders. You can tell that it's his his style of artwork. Um, and you know what, man? I've always looked up to that guy. He's always had an amazing talent for drawing uh, characters and character designs. And hey, man, I mean, he was he worked for Disney, so that that says a lot, right? I've always liked different types of art styles. So I'm going to be doing more of these renditions here on this channel, if not on my live stream too, because hey man, this is great. This is therapeutic for me and I hope you guys enjoy it too. It's, it's fun all around, right? So here I am, I'm doing the color selection. I'm about to fill in Grogu's colors. It's just a rough, quick little uh, fill in. I go in and detail it afterwards. And you know, I'm still learning guys. This is still a learning process. You you never stop learning because you're always gonna learn something new and do things differently. And that's the beauty of art. You're, you're never perfect at your art. You're gonna always find new ways to improve your art uh, with anything like learning your line work, the way the character looks in perspective. That is, those are very important things to always keep in mind. That how does the character look and is it flowing and and sometimes it's okay to go outside of those realms of rules right because some of the greatest artists didn't really follow the rules as far as art goes like if you look at salvador dali his artwork is completely like uh abstract and not like something proportional but you know it's, it's still good to see different uh styles of art so here I am just practicing Chris Anderson's style. This is 
his style, you know, I can't, I can't say any way other than, than that. And I just enjoy doing this type of art. So like I said, if you guys like this type of content, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing live streams here on YouTube. So man, you never know when you're going to catch me live doing these type of videos. And you know, you can just come in and chat with me and we can vibe out, man. I'm, I'm pretty mellow kind of guy. So, I mean, if you guys know me for years, you guys know, I love to just relax and chill out. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm willing to work with you guys too. These are uh, commissions. You guys can DM me on Twitter or DM me on Instagram. Find me there. You guys know my social links. It's down in the description. Hit me up. I'll work with you guys. You guys work with me. It's all practice for me. Anyways, I enjoy doing this. This is very therapeutic. Like I said, and this is a way for me to keep my mind off of things as far as you know not having my mom around anymore because 2020 was very rough for your boy 2020 gave me a very rough year and it it's it's still a process grief is still a process that we all go through and you know i I've, my heart goes out to you guys you if you lost a loved one and you know you're going through grief as well i say find revenues or look for revenues that you can outsource that you know you can put that power how am i trying to say look for ways to distract yourself uh look for ways to you know take your mind off things that will if anything will bring you down you know you don't want to be down and out there is going to be times that's that's the thing about life life is always going to have its ups and downs you're always going to have you know you're good and you're bad and you just got to roll with it you got to know how to just go with it and, and cope with it so my way of coping with this has always been art i always found myself as a child drawing and sketching you know that i wouldn't even pay attention in class because i would be drawing most of the time <clears throat> i remember one of my teachers telling me man ernesto like you need to like buck up and then at the end of the school year he's like you know what continue doing your artwork you're really good at it you're talented and continue pursuing your dream so i've always done graphic design but now that i'm doing illustration it's totally different and i fairly enjoy this i mean like anybody this is a very beautiful hobby if you have a hobby of drawing and and being you know taking your time with with doing that it's very therapeutic it's helpful for you i totally recommend it don't don't stop yourself from being great just because your life is giving you obstacles greatness is all around you it's just a matter of seeking it the way we look at life is the outcome that it'll be you know if you are negative if you are sad if you're having those difficult times it's okay to be in those moments but you can't stay in those moments all the time because if you stay in those moments you're not gonna be productive and you're just gonna weigh yourself down so you know like i said find ways to get yourself out of those moods find ways to cope with it uh everybody has struggles everybody's gonna have those doubts and fears so i'm here for you guys and I'm grateful for the community that I've built so far and just make sure to subscribe to the channel, man. So if you guys want to see more stuff like this, I'll be making more videos. Uh, be on the lookout for another video. I have one with me drawing a shark. If you guys know, I love sharks. Sharks is <laughs> shark. Sharks are like my favorite animal. The reason why sharks are my favorite animals because they have to keep swimming. They have to keep going to live. They literally don't even sleep. Did you guys know that sharks don't even sleep? They literally have to keep pushing every single day just to survive. And that is so motivational to me. That's why I admire the shark and it's just they're predators of the ocean, man. You got to be they're ruthless creatures. So anyways, here I'm doing some more highlights on Grogu doing the final, you know, final touch ups on him. I really like how this piece came out and yeah man this this is gonna be a great new series for me um i've always wanted to do this for myself i always wanted to do like an art stream so 
this is this is gonna be great and i hope you guys can come along with that and you know make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so i'll be doing live art on youtube i'll see you guys on the next video make sure to subscribe see you